Hi, and thanks for watching iHeartTuts. Today we are going to be doing a selective saturation. And what we'll be doing is we will be turning a portion of an image black and white while leaving the rest in color. And today we'll be using Adobe Photoshop CS4. We'll be using two different methods. One way, the first way we'll be using is uh, switching between quick mask mode and standard mode. And the second method we'll be using is we'll be adding a layer mask to the image that we want to edit. And what I did was I um, went on Flickr.com and I found two images that were labeled with the attribution license and the share alike license, which uh, gives you authority to distribute, display, and perform copyrighted works as long as you credit the artist. Let's go ahead and open up our image by pressing App O on the Mac or Control O on the PC. Select our image and mine is titled Lady One, which is available under, to download under under the description. Let's go ahead and go into quick mask mode by pressing Q and as you can see on the top bar it says quick mask mode which basically lets you know that we are in quick mask mode and you can press Q again to go back into standard mode and quick mask mode on the title disappears. So let's go ahead and pr press Q again, go into quick mask mode and we are going to go ahead and grab our brush tool by pressing B or you can select it under the uh, toolbar and um, we are going to start brushing in the red part of the dress or the dress and what's going to happen is um, everything will be selected when we go back into standard mode except the red that we select so what's going to happen is we are basically going to uh, desaturate everything in the image except the red dress so you can uh, switch back and forth between quick mask mode and standard mode to make sure that the uh, dotted line is within the, uh, the selected dress and um, if you do let's say go outside of the dress and color in let's say the legs or the, the hand you can always change your foreground color to white and brush out the red so remember two things you can remember is black will make the selection of red and white will uh, take out the selection of red so after you completely filled in the red dress with the red or with the uh, with the brush tool then make sure that everything is selected by going into standard mode and as you can see the dotted line is filled or filling in the red dress. Let's go to image adjustments hue and saturation and then we're going to drop the saturation down to negative 100. Then we're going to deselect the image by pressing Apple D on the Mac or Control D on the PC and there you have it. You have a desaturated girl with a red dress and this method or this technique basically puts emphasis on the red and I think it's beautifully taken. Uh, the next method we are going to use is we are going to add a layer mask. So let's go ahead and open up our second image by pressing Apple D or Apple O on the Mac or Control O on the PC. And mine is titled Lady 2. And what we're going to do with this image is we are going to desaturate everything on the image except the eyes because I think the lady's eyes in this image is really beautiful. So uh, to do that, we are going to duplicate the layer by pressing Apple J on the Mac or Control J on the PC and we're going to desaturate the uh, the copied or the duplicated layer so select the layer one and then go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and we're going to drop the saturation down to negative 100 go ahead and press OK and we're going to go ahead and add a layer mask now and to do that we can go ahead and click on the, the little rectangle with the circle inside it underneath the layers panel and we're going to click on that and it adds a little uh, white rectangle with a link on the layer one which notifies or lets you know that this layer in fact does have a layer mask so we're going to go ahead and grab our brush tool and we're going to want to make sure that the uh, foreground color is black and we're going to brush out the iris of the eye and as you can see the iris is actually turning blue 
and what's going to what's happening is it's erasing the the current layer and it's revealing the layer underneath it as we brush in the uh, the iris so as you can see when we zoom out everything on the image is sat desaturated except the iris so we're going to go ahead and do that to the left side and there are two basic things you want to remember when adding a, a layer mask when the current layer is selected with the layer mask selected and the foreground color is black and when you use the brush tool to brush out the layer it is going to delete the current layer whereas if your foreground color is white it is going to keep the layer so remember black is to hide the layer and white is to keep the layer and this basically concludes this tutorial i hope you've enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching iheart tuts thanks